hello guys welcome to the video uh, today I'm having some I'm feeling I'm feeling low I'm I'm feeling low and at the same time I'm feeling pumped so there, there are some mixed emotions I'm feeling I'm feeling bad for some people at the different end of the spectrum uh, I'm feeling bad about people who who have who genuinely have problems in, in their life and still they are positive still they are they're trying to figure things out still they are working hard and and having that positive frame of mind in their life and and uh, I'm feeling bad about about those people as well who who are who have who have everything in their life everything good cars good home financially free health wise everything and then and then too they are they are complaining they are very negative towards their life so yes I want to share something with you guys I want I just I just thought that I should I should share with you guys my my emotions or what I'm feeling right now uh, today I saw the news I saw people suffering in Mumbai from flood and in Houston Texas uh, due to Hurricane Harvey and I saw some footage over there they saw uh, people lost their home people lost their belongings their memories memories of their of their grandchildren grandparents their parents and uh, some of the some of them lost uh, their their loved ones as well and still they're trying to trying to smile trying to laugh and trying to help each other strangers helping strangers and there there's there's no there's no uh, there's no negativity there you and though they have every reason to cry every reason to be negative but they they are helping each other and then at the just just after few minutes i saw some instagram stories i saw uh snapchat stories you see facebook not 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 about today uh, usually we all see we all uh, see in our instagram stories in our snapchat stories and uh, facebook or any any social media platform that people are people driving cars people living in in huge huge houses and people having having good meals having iPhones driving driving good cars and partying on on weekends and still they're complaining I can't I can't get that why they're complaining they have every reason to be happy in their life why they are complaining they're complaining about things that are not working and that are not working for them uh, let me tell you guys that everyone has got problems everyone has got problems the thing is that we need to find solution we need to see life from that point of view that everything is gonna work everything has a solution that's it guys because complaining complaining won't won't do anything anything good to you if you complaining no one is listening because everyone has their everyone has their own problems everyone has their own own problems to solve and own situations to handle people who, who have good health are suffering from financial issues people having good financial financial freedom they are suffering from health issues everyone has got problems guys you need to have the you need to be grateful first of all you need to be grateful of, of what uh, god has given to you you need to have that sense of gratitude in your life that that you, you just need to thank god for whatever he has given to you you know what i mean uh that's it guys because and I'm not telling I'm not telling that uh, uh, by, by the by the word gratitude means I, I'm not telling to settle for what you have no don't get me wrong here I'm telling you to, to to be thankful for what you have and just work hard for what you want just don't come because every everything has a solution everything is a solution sometimes the solution is hard but we need to swallow that we need to absorb the solution and we need to implement that that is it so Yes, guys. I'm not trying to motivate you because because I think that the people who have figured themselves out, people who are positive, doesn't doesn't need motivation. People who are grateful doesn't need my motivation. I'm not I'm not here to motivate you guys. I, I just I just wanted to share with uh, with you guys what I was feeling. So yeah, uh, my prayers and my thoughts to the families and people who are 
who are suffering and uh, who have already suffered and lost their belongings, lost, uh, lost their family in this flood and uh, in Houston, Texas in this hurricane Harvey and just uh, thank you guys enjoy the rest of the video see you back to was over today it was a back day I did four exercises uh, this is me doing uh, some warm up for my first exercise that is bend over barbell row I usually don't warm up in the gym because uh, I walk from my home to gym so it's probably 15 to 20 minutes walk so I just come here I do my mobility stuff and start with my first exercise I'm doing a warm up for first exercise here is my walking set I did 4 sets of for 8 to 10 reps whenever you are doing barbell rows keep, keep in mind to, to engage your back and keep your core tight to prevent injuries and uh, pull through your lats and then just go to the motion this is my second exercise I did pull ups 4 or as many as possible probably I did uh, 10 uh, for each 10 8 or 8 or 10 for each set uh, this is me doing wide wide pull-ups so that engages your upper back uh, more and as you as you come narrow a neutral grip it will it will engage your lats my third exercise was cable rows sitting cable rows I did pyramid set here increasing weight by each set and uh, decreasing reps by each, uh, each set as my weight uh, increases. Whenever you are doing seated rows, keep in mind to to engage your lats and to open up your lats completely and pull from your lats and uh, don't don't sway back uh, too much because when you sway too back too much it will it will you, you will pull through your biceps and not from your from your lats so keep that in mind uh, you should open up your lats and pull through your pull through your lats not your not your arms or not your biceps this was my fourth exercise i did was uh, seated row dy row I, this is an isolation exercise so I did four sets of 10 to 15 reps uh, see as you can see my body is inclined I'm not sitting straight uh, in my bench so whenever you keep your body inclined it engages your engages your back more in this exercise and uh, you can you can you can engage your legs more and not pull from your from your biceps or from your hands or your your upper back or probably your rear delts it, it engages your your mid back and lower back so yes guys this is my workout hope you guys enjoyed it